Jubilee Evangelical Church Daily Devotion The Father is searching for all who will worship in spirit and in truth He is discerning in the yearnings of every heart in this room. So let us determine that right at the start we will worship the Father with all of our Chapter 21, verses 7 to 11. They brought the donkey and the colt and put on them their cloaks, and he sat on them. Most of the crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and other cut branches, the trees, and spread them on the road. And the crowds that went before him and that followed him were shouting, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest. And when he entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up, saying, Who is this? And the crowd said, This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. Welcoming the King In the course of history, whenever someone of a high position enters a town or city, they are given a warm welcome. Preparations are made weeks and months prior to the arrival. A grand sum is allocated to make sure that the leader is comfortable. People are placed strategically to ensure security, and crowds flock to witness the entrance. One thing that fascinates me about this scene is that even those not in favor of the leader would somehow participate in welcoming him. Among the crowds, you will find people who are die-hard supporters, people who are coerced to join the crowd, and even some bystanders who have no idea why they are there. 
we are trained to give a king's welcome even when we don't really understand why we should. Today's passage is one of the few passages where Jesus was welcomed with a grand entrance. Crowds joined in a hallelujah chorus as he came to fulfill the prophecy of the long-awaited Messiah. It must have been such a breathtaking sight. People flocking into the entrance, giving a grand welcome, waving their palm branches and shouting hallelujah at the top of their voices. They knew this was a fulfillment of the prophecy. They knew Jesus was the Savior. They did not think twice about declaring who Jesus was. They acknowledged His glory. They cried to Him for help, deliverance, and His saving grace. This was no ordinary welcoming parade as it stirred curiosity throughout the whole city. The crowds were not silent either. They knew who they were welcoming. They did not mince words. They answered the question directly to the point. This is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. Jesus knew the plot of the religious leaders to kill him, yet he allowed the crowd to acknowledge who he was at this point. He came from such an obscure town, yet the Heavenly Father had great plans for him. To this day, we remember this momentous event as Palm Sunday. Some believers even put palm leaves by their doors to tell others that their household knows Jesus as Lord and Savior. Many of us have perhaps set a grand entrance for the Lord, promising Him that we are to honor Him as the King of our lives. Yet, like the crowds present at the triumphal entry, we often give in to the pressure around us and exchange our hallelujahs to crucify Him. We praise God, for it is only through His grace by the Holy Spirit that we can truly welcome the King and live a life that aligns with His plan and purpose. Reflection Are we too busy showing off our faith? Do we proclaim Christ as our Lord and Savior only because the crowds are doing so? Or do we really believe in our hearts that He is the promised Messiah who is our Master and our Savior in a crowd following Jesus? Where do we stand? Let's reflect on His amazing grace so that our hearts may truly set a welcome fit to our King. Prayer Dear Lord, Many times, we find ourselves going with the flow, waving our palm leaves without a clear understanding of why. In times of great pressure, we put down these palm branches and choose to walk our own way. We pray that every single day, moment by moment, we will respond in such a way that we surrender our lives to you, our King. Amen.